Hi, welcome all. This is a lecture series called Introduction to Probability. It is for all competitive exam. It is a must watch lecture series for all. By watching all these series of lectures, by understanding the concept, you can solve any probability problem within seconds. As I already said, this is not a single lecture. This is a series of lecture. Though this is the first lecture. So in this lecture, I am going to introduce what is probability. Probability is nothing but chance. So instead of saying there is more chance, we are specifying it with some fraction, some value. Okay. So let A be anything. Let it be a red ball. Let it be passing an exam. So the probability of getting A is number of chance of getting A divided by total number of chances. It is simply total number of chances of getting that divided by total number of chances. So I will explain it with an example. There are three balls, two blue balls and one red ball. So the probability of getting red ball, that is, we will normally write it as p of red, means probability of getting red. That's equal to number of chances of getting red divided by total number of chances. So what is the mean by number of chance of getting red? I am going to take one bowl, one bowl and likewise. So if I am going to take one bowl and again one bowl, so how many possibilities are there? Means how many chances are there? So we know that there is only one red bowl. So I can take only one red bowl. That means only one chance. So number of chance of getting red is one. Then total number of chances means the how many chances are there? There are three bowls, so I can take three chances. So total number of chances is three. So probability of getting red is number of chances of getting red. That's one divided by total number of chances. That is three. That's one by three. It's a fraction that comes as zero point three 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 and so on. Which means that if I am going to take one red bowl from here, the probability of getting a red bowl is one by third. Okay, in the similar way, I can write the probability of getting a blue ball. So total number of chances of getting blue, there are two chances. Because if I am taking a ball, it may be uh, the middle blue ball. In another chance, it may be a the bottom one. Bottom one. So there are two chances, and total number of chances is same. That is three chances. Because I there are three balls, I can take three balls. So the probability is two by three. Okay. So we can conclude one thing. The the sum of all probabilities should be equal to one, which means that there is only one red ball and two blue ball, which means that I can take on either r red ball or blue ball. So the probability of getting red ball is one by three. The probability of getting blue ball is two by three. So total probabilities one by three plus two by three that is equal to one. I cannot take a ball which is in different color let us example i want to take a green ball so we know that green ball is not there so what is the number of chance of getting a green ball that is zero divided by total number of chances I, there are three balls i can take three chances so three zero by three that is zero which means that the probability of getting a green ball in this case is zero because there is no green ball so the probability can be zero on the other side it can be m maximum up to one so what is meant by zero probability which means that there is no chance of getting that one okay In another case the probability is one which means that we hundred percent is sure that we will get that one consider that on there is only one red ball okay only one ball is there that is color is red so what is the probability of getting red number of chance of getting red is one because there is only one red ball and total number of chances since there is only one red ball one ball so i can take only one chance so it is one by one that's equal to one which means that we are 100 percent sure that we will get that one so it is probability will become one so normally the probability value will vary between zero and one including both okay so i am going to give you an example consider a group of balls there are three blue balls two green balls and for red balls so what is the probability of getting red ball that is p of red 
what are the total number of chance of getting red total number of chance in getting red means how many red balls are there simply and total number of chances means total number of balls okay i hope you got it then total number of chances of getting red there are four red balls four chances four by total number of chances there are nine balls that's four by nine so what is the probability of getting blue ball simply there are three blue balls and total number of balls is nine so three by nine so probability of getting green that is total two green balls are total probabilities total balls is nine so two by nine so we can take the sum the sum will come 4 by 9 plus 3 by 9 plus 2 by 9 that's equal to 1 which means that we can take only either green ball either blue ball either red ball we cannot take a black ball from this okay if i'm if i want to take a black for black ball from this so what is the probability of getting a black ball it is 0 by 9 that is 0 okay because on 0 ball 0 black ball is there I hope you understand the basic concept of probability we will be going forward these kinds of questions will not come in competitive exam because the, uh, these are just basics but these kinds of questions will come if I am taking two balls one after the other without a replacement then what is the probability of getting one red ball and one blue ball these kinds of questions will come in competitive exam so you want to know what is mean by replacement and what is meant without replacement so how we will calculate one red ball and one blue ball both blue ball both red ball and alternate cases so we will be covering this concept in lecture number two so you can watch you can subscribe for latest videos thank you for watching